Hello my soccer universe! I'll do a midweek review of Serie A because actually quite a few interesting games did happen and you can see I'm wearing Napoli. Uh, Napoli had a pretty impressive week so far. Two 4 nil away wins! That's pretty pretty good and of course it begs the question can Napoli challenge for a title or uh, are Napoli even the favorites? Which I will maybe try to answer uh, towards the end because, you know, other teams up there also won and we had a teeny tiny club from Turin getting their first win of the season. So kind of all interesting stuff. Running through the results, uh, I mean, I actually focused a lot on Serie A um, this midweek. I saw three games live. To me, the game of the round was already used between Fiorentina and Inter. And boy, was that an interesting game, especially first half. Fiorentina pressed the life out of Inter. Inter couldn't get a foot on the field. That it was only 1-0 to Fiorentina thanks to a um, Sotil goal, very nicely assisted by Gonzalez was actually rather flattering to Inter. I actually think Fiorentina should, should have gone up by at least two goals. And uh, I mean, the first 20 to 25 minutes, Inter could not f even cross past the halfway line. Fiorentina were really good, really impressive. However, you see the final result, 3-1 Inter, what happened? Well, what happened is that while Fiorentina tried to press more in the second half, um, very, very quickly, Inter found a way in the second half to get two goals very, 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 very quickly and use the frailties in the defense uh, with pinpoint passing and just being uh, clinically in many ways. Uh, Barella sets up Darmian in the 52nd and then uh, Edin Dzeko heads one home after Cialanoglu uh, assists and it's 2-1 Inter at a point where you really think nah, this should not happen. This is absolutely not fair, but uh, that's how it goes. I mean, uh, Inter just found a little key, found a little hole, uh, was riding with luck in the first half, um, but suddenly they had broken down Fiorentina, and then very late um, after Gonzalez, <sighs> he is pulled. The foul is not given. He complains to the ref. He gets a yellow card and he doesn't shut up and get sent of him immediately. I know referee have a little bit more understanding whatsoever. However, it, this is all on the player. This is all on, on, on the player. You have to contain yourself. You, I know you feel uh, hard done by. I can totally understand it. It was the wrong call. You gotta shut yourself up there. You have to have yourself under control. He sent off and he will miss. And then uh, Fiorentina really did not have much uh, in, anymore. I think they got really tired then. They could not uh, keep up the press. And yeah, Perisic even makes 3 1. Um, weird game. Absolutely weird, weird game. Uh, my take takeaway from that is that I think Inter, despite losing Hakimi and Lukaku, I think Inter will be in the title contention for sure. And Fiorentina is a really good team that uh, should make it to Europe, in my understanding. Spezia Juve. I'm not sure if Juve should make it to Europe. Yes, Juve should make it to Europe. And I have been really biting my tongue the whole time, ever since they lost to Napoli. I mean, the Empoli lost, yeah, can happen. Juve has this in them. At my time. I don't want to declare Juve dead. The squad is talented. They have a really good coach. Yes, he has been out of the game for two years. But I just have this feeling that Juve just needs to get on a roll and up there are. Uh, and yes, I've been mocking them a little bit and I'm going to take it all back now again. I will do my damnedest to declare Juve in trouble. I've seen it too many times before. I Just careful. I want to see at least half a season of you with struggling before I would call them into question. Uh, it was a perfect 3 to win for uh, Juve. Perfect only by the way the results went. I always say a perfect 3 2 is when both teams had the lead and they were twice to turn around. I mean, they take the lead through Moes again, but uh, Giassi 
we throw another celebration afterwards, gets an Ig, Ig versus Hunt East, right after have makes it 2-1, and I think all the entire Spezia crowd was were thinking, yeah, we can, we're gonna get Ju Juve now. However, uh, two really messy goals, turn it around Chiesa and De Ligt, in both cases the defense of Spezia, this was, either way they had it already cleared and then not. And so uh, it's a 3-2 win for Juve, although there were chances for Spezia to get the equalizer as well. But you know, Juve is now has is in the winning column uh, for, for, for the first time. Uh, Milan-Venezia is not... I watched that game. It was not a great game, to be honest, because Milan made many changes, rested a few players, uh, Zlatan Giroud still out. They played it, given them very patiently, um, looked on. Yes, there were more ch chances on Venezia, probably before they have cool. Could have made a goal. Why Venezia is playing in blue is also a little bit beyond me. Could have played in the white territories, I think. In any case, um, and then he makes the big change. He sees in the in the, in the 60th minute, he says, okay, off come the, subs the normal subs uh, substitutes. Um, and on come Tomori, Hernandez and Salamekas, and that changed the complexion of the game. Uh, from that moment on, Milan was in cruel cruise control. I actually thought, um, to me, I mean, f I rate Florenzi, and I thought, thought, I thought it well, was a good signing, but I think he hasn't found his footing in the team. Salamekas at the moment is bigger and more important to Milan than Florenzi. That to me was, that to me was something I thought, hmm, interesting. In any case, um, it is then a great ball. I mean, the first goal, uh, Salamekas creates some trouble, plays the ball to Benacea, who finds a pinpoint pass uh, to Teo Nandes, who just puts it in the middle, and Brahim Diaz, uh, who was a little bit unlucky. I, I actually, uh, he, this guy, I start to really, really li like him. He makes it 1-0, and that maybe is settled in more, in more or less the game, although I was hoping for a slightly bigger scoreline. Um, but yeah, with Salamekas and Theo Hernandez, especially Theo Hernandez on, the whole complexion changed. Um, and things were more, um, you know, <laughs> there was a lot more punch going forward so, so suddenly. Before that, it was all Leal trying. He always got past one player and then loses the ball to, to, to the next one, which uh, I see so much talent in this guy, but it's so frustrating uh, with his nonchalance in many ways and imprecise passing. Uh, then, you know, uh, the second goal came again, Salamekas assist to Theo Nades, who just darts it in 2-0. All that dead, he needed three, three points, move on. Uh, did not see it, but I mean, Napoli 4-0 at Sampdoria, they won already 4-0. Uh, in, in, in the middle at Udine and now against Napoli and doing so in a quite impressive fashion. Uh, Ozyman, uh two uh, goals in the tenth and in the, in the fiftieth. The goal by Fabio Ruiz, uh, Fabian Ruiz, I thought was really interesting. It was more like a golfing put where uh, he very very calculated putting it in in, in the corner. It was a really great shot. Uh, and then uh, Zielinski adds in the 59th the fourth. Napoli really really dominating. They're looking really really good at the moment. Uh, and as I said. Shall we can't consider? I think they might be up there. I'm not sure if they will, uh, because it's Napoli. We know that now Napoli always has a chance of, of falling off or, you know, uh, losing at an inopportune moment. But when they are rolling, they are a fun side to watch. And um, yeah, they got a pretty good coach at the moment. Although I'm not sure if he was the right coach for uh, this team. At the moment, it is working. Again, like with Juve, I've seen Napoli uh, in the last two two seasons where you always thought they could do something and then they just just about did not do it. So I'm careful with Na Napoli, but at, at the moment they're probably the best team in Serie A. Inter, I think I would give second and Milan at the moment third. Uh, those are three really, really good teams. And then I, I would even say Fiorentina is in that conversation at the moment as well, although they are not too uh, settled yet. Um, Lazio gets a draw thanks to a last minute uh, penalty uh, through Immobile and Roma. I saw that game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Roma really fun in the first half uh, going forward and they get the goal. It was all fully deserved. Uh, and, and the way Tammy Abraham ever Calafiori, who gets the ball off the defender as well. Uh, it was really nicely played. But as soon as that goal uh, was scored, they do what Mourinho teams often do. They sit back. Why? 
and then actually Odine probably should have recovered. I mean, they were better. And uh, again, a stupid um, Pellegrini uh, sanding off. I don't think he meant he he meant it. I don't remember his first, but I thought it was kind of a rough to send him off for that. So yeah, Roma uh, back on winning ways, but I think Mourinho needs to get over that. He has a really talented squad here, especially going forward and not one that is defensively strong. So, you know, you're kind of finding a little bit the balance, but uh, when you have a team like Udine so much under control and then you get finally the goal and then you sit back, I'm not sure if that's the sending the right message. This is not the old style Italy anymore. Uh, the interesting thing is that now we have Napoli, Inter, Milan and Roma up top, which I think is a top four that I would be perfectly happy with. I think it would uh, represent things quite uh, well overall. Uh, Inter still favorites to win it at the moment, followed by Napoli. And yeah, you will see more of that in my stats cast. Lots of changes in the table, uh, I gotta say as well. I forgot to say that we actually have a pretty big weekend coming up with two top clashes between Inter and Atalanta and then Lazio Roma. Doesn't get much better than that. In any case, this was it from me for Serie A for this midweek. You'll get another one uh, early next week. Let me know what you thought about the games in Serie A, or if you watched any, any, anything and how, how, how you think Serie A is going. Who will vote your tip to win it? I am still... I actually am not quite na Napoli. Not quite me. I think I, at the moment I would actually also back into, although it hurts me a whole lot to say that. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!